personally, I just think it's funny that he's talking about me this way. Well, yeah, he looks like a poor amateur. Is he best friends with Seth Ferrosi? Coach Greg, and today I have a really good video for you. It's about Lee Priest trashing Coach Greg. He trashed me big time. It is freaking hilarious. So I'm gonna get all into that and describe it. And before I start, I'm gonna tell you I'm a freaking moron. I am so stupid. Do you see how bad I'm sunburned? I went outside and I'd have sunscreen and look at what happened. I always warn people, the sun is gonna give you cancer. It's not looking good for me, okay? Oh, another thing, I got this. It's some kind of thing where if you get 100,000 subscribers, they get, yeah, I got it yesterday. My subscriber count is like almost 400,000 and I got it for 100. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's there, it's cool. Maybe someday I'll get a million, you never know. All right, so let's get into this. So basically, a guy writes to me and says, Coach Greg, oh my God, look what Lee Pree said to you. Holy goodness gracious. I just wanted to ask him what he thought about bulking because Greg says this about bulking and what do you think? And it blew up. Your thoughts on Greg Doucette and him saying you're a, just a genetic freak and you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to bulking. Okay, so I can see how that would trigger somebody because who the heck is Coach Greg and he's dissing this Mr. Olympia freakzilla and he's saying, hey, it's nothing to do with your, your bulking that made you good, it's your genetics. Obviously, it's hard work and genetics, okay? Now, if you don't know, Lee Priest is about the biggest genetic phenom on the planet, the best bodybuilder, one of the biggest, most freakiest guys, only five foot four, way better bodybuilder than me like infinitely better like better as a freaking teenager than i was as an adult man he is probably better than me natural than i was in hence way way better than me okay but guess what he thinks that just because he's way way better than me that he's somehow way way smarter than me or that he knows more about training diet and nutrition that is the biggest pet peeve of mine. Well, maybe not the biggest. It's one of the biggest pet peeves of mine is anytime somebody's bigger than me, taller than me, stronger than me, whatever, that automatically, well, I'm bigger, stronger, taller than you. So why should we listen to you? I mean, let's face it. Somebody shorter than someone else can't coach them or somebody smaller than somebody else can't coach them. Okay, so what does Lee Priest respond to that with? All right, this is what he says. Okay, and what's he done again? What's his contest history, etc., from age 13 to 48, winning pro shows, etc.? Yeah, I don't know anything. That's why all who did what I did win shows were most ripped, etc. And who is he again? So he then sends them a screenshot and says, oh, he's this guy. He won about bazillion shows, competed in this, world records in that, competes this, and he started training at 10, and he's done more shows than you. Well, he basically says, he's a guy that actually also knows a lot of stuff and's competed a lot, okay? So he's trying to say, well, you know, he probably assumed he'd heard of me. Not everybody knows who Coach Greg is, no. So he says all that, he says, okay, so he has this resume, so he's not just some goofball that hasn't done anything. You know, master's degree in kinesiology, done the shows, coach, whatever. And he says that you can actually build muscle in a deficit, that it's possible. And he says, you don't need this huge surplus to get fat to gain muscle. So then Lee Priest responds with, I just Googled him. Please don't bother me with idiots like that. Jesus, my mother looked better. His mom did look better. His mom's a freak too. His mom looked better than me. His mom's amazing. Genetics, he proves my point even more. Even his mom looked better than me. It's genetics, folks. His mom, freak genetics, passed it off. He chose the right parents. And Lee Priest, have you seen his teenage footage? You need to appreciate the level of supreme genetics that this guy had. As a teenager, when he was natural, looked better than most 30-year-old men on supplements, okay? He was a pro at 20 years old. 
I started training at 10 and by 20, I looked decent. I looked like about when he was 14, when I was 20. He's so good, he's a freak. And guess what? When he was a child, when he was a teenager, he wasn't bulking. He wasn't the 285 pound man. You ever see those before and afters? The most important memory I have of Lee Priest is that when he had his stomach hanging out, he was about 300 pounds at five foot four, and he was doing that before and after, sponsored by Muscle Tech or something. You seen that? And it's like, oh my God, what a, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. And so he's promoting this bulking and cutting, and that's the way to put on muscle. That's the way to die of a heart attack, folks. It's not the way to put on muscle. Have you ever seen Ronnie Coleman fat ever? At Ronnie Coleman's worst. I don't ever think Ronnie Coleman's lost his six pack in his life. Ronnie Coleman now is still ripped. And he's an old man and he's injured, has all these surgeries, and he's still ripped. Let's look at some other pros. Patrick Moore, future phenom freak and IP pro. He's not into bulking. He's made posts on Instagram saying, you know, you don't have to bulk. Ian Valer, another IP pro in the Olympia. Not bulking, always has six pack. Even a guy who promotes bulking, like Fuad Abiyad, he has six pack all the time and he promotes bulking. And he himself is not fat. Lee Priest got fat, obese, big, huge, not healthy. I'm 100% against that. And you don't need to do what Lee Priest did to get muscle. Am I saying to be 5% year round? No, I've never said that, never stated that. I've said maybe you go up to 15%. I've stated you don't need a huge surplus in calories to build muscle. And that is fact, scientific fact. Just because you train in the 1980s and 1990s and you placed high in a few shows or a 20 shows or one every show doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. There's guys that beat me in bodybuilding shows that don't know how to train or eat or diet. They're just genetic freaks. They're amazing. There's people who don't study for tests and could outperform you on a test because they're so smart. They sit there and they don't study. They might be asleep in class and they're still smarter than you. Genetics. So he says, mate, told you, don't bother me. Go and listen to him. Then best of luck. I listen to Dorian, Nazar, and Dillett. You heard of them? I don't listen to a douche. I'm not even gonna comment on that part. I'm not. Take care. And then the guy writes, that's why I asked for your opinion on bulking because Greg is against bulking and says it's stupid because you'll get super fat and then you'll have to lose half of it half of the year. So he's just basically saying, you know, Greg is saying if you bulk up, it's a dumb idea because then you're just going to lose a lot of the gains in the dieting process. <laughs> and this I found was funny. He's against building muscle by the looks of it. Lee Brace is quite funny and I do watch a lot of his stuff and he's very outspoken. So personally, I just think it's funny that he's talking about me this way. He says, get back to me when he makes top six at the Olympia a few times or wins a pro show in open, not just in the 212. So get back to me when I pick better parents. I mean, come on, Lee. You know, you can't be this stupid. You know that it's genetics that helps. You know it's not just bulking. I put on more muscle than you at my older age than you did. I was 140 something pounds when I was 20. You were an IB pro at 20. And then you started bulking. And what was your heaviest on stage weight? Barely over 200 pounds. So from the age of 20 to your 40 whatever plus years, you gained a couple more pounds of muscle. Coach Greg gained 50 more pounds of muscle without bulking. I tried bulking and it got me fat and then I dieted and I lost any muscle I thought I'd built. I thought I'd put on muscle and then when I died, I discovered it was fat. When you bulk, you think it's muscle, but half of it's fat and you get tricked into thinking you got massive, then you diet and then you realize it wasn't muscle after all, it's fat, water, glycogen. I'm sorry, bulking is stupid, not healthy, and not needed. 
Not saying you should be 5% body fat year round, saying bulking, AKA Lee Priest style before and after, before Pillsbury Doughboy, Lee Priest, and then trying to diet into shape, not a good idea. And guess what? Lee Priest could have been leaner. Lee Priest was not leaner than Coach Greg. No, Lee Priest was bigger than Coach Greg, had way better genetics than me. Not better at dieting and not leaner and not better at building and putting on muscle. He put on more muscle than me natural as a teenager without bulking. You don't believe me? Just watch a video. Flex Magazine had Frank Zane, Lee Priest, and Sean Ray working out. He's just in his early 20s, maybe 21 years old. The guy is just a mass monster. Five foot four, 220 pounds. Huge. Not quite contest ready, but just a freak of muscle. Okay. He didn't get much bigger than that through all his years of bulking. It didn't make him better. He almost peaked as a 21 year old. He turned pro at 20 without all the crazy bulking. So just cause somebody's a freak doesn't mean that what they did, especially if they did it after they were already a freak is why they got that. So yeah, you're gonna say, yeah, but Lee Priest is better than you, Greg. So he's right. Okay, if that's the logic you're gonna use as to why I'm wrong, then well, I'm never gonna prove you wrong. If you think that just because somebody's better that it makes them smarter, well, I can't defend that. I can't argue against that. You're just a moron and no matter what I say, you're gonna be still always and forever will be a moron. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. So then he writes Lee Priest and says, look, he's, he's been competing for over 20 years and in that time he's experimented with bulking and he says that you can gain lean muscle without doing the bulk. And then Lee responds with, and not change much, only change condition. I was 142 pounds bantam weight, bantam, when I was 20, bantam. Then I won 2012 heavyweight Nova Scotia Provincials. Heavyweight. That's in a category you have to weigh over 198. I won the heavyweight and overall title from 142 at 20. And I trained since I was 10. So I think it worked. Did it work as good as Lee Priest? Yeah, it did. The difference is Lee Priest was a better freak, better genetics, better specimen of a human in terms of packing on muscle. And he did all this as a teenager. Then he tried to bulk and get even better. And he got a little bit better. Did Lee Priest go from 200 pounds at age 20 to 250? If so, then that would be pretty stinking good evidence that his bulking method worked. And I'd have a hard time arguing against that. I only argue facts that I can prove or that I know to be true. Lee Priest did not gain 50 pounds from the age of 20 to 48 or any time in between. I did. I didn't bulk the way he did and my growth was slow and steady gains. So who's right and who's wrong? I'll let you decide. And he concludes with, well, yeah, he looks like a poor amateur. Is he best friends with Seth Ferrosi? What is with these guys? Why do they all have to put down how I look? I don't look that bad. I'm pretty respectable. I'm placing in the top five in a pro show. That's not bad. If I look like a poor amateur, how did I get a pro card? How? If I'm a poor amateur, how did I get a pro card? I don't think I'm some legend. I don't think I'm some freak bodybuilder. I think I'm okay. I'm an average pro. I don't think I'm a legend. But he says I'm a nobody. I don't feel like I'm a nobody. How do we define a nobody? Is it based on how many people know you? I'm going to look this up. Apparently it's a no person or no one or a person of no importance or authority. I don't know. You decide if I'm important or not. I'm important enough to have 10 million people view my channel per month. Maybe that's not important. Maybe it is. Maybe more people listen to Lee Priest than me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a nobody. Maybe I'm a somebody. I don't care, but I know that I'm not an idiot or a moron. And I understand dieting and nutrition and supplements. You don't need to bulk. Whether I'm a nobody or not, it doesn't matter, Lee. 
It doesn't matter. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, There's two now. It doesn't matter if the Rock holds the free. Greg Doucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFB Pro. Follow me on Instagram. Hire me for coaching. Buy my cookbook. Buy my home and hotel workout program. Check it on my website. And bloop it up a couple videos over here. Watch them. They might teach you something. If they don't, at least you'll be entertained. And until next time, I am out.